Okay. So I have y equals the arc sine of x, which basically says y is the angle whose sine is x. So I'm going to rewrite it that way, that y is the angle whose sine is x, meaning the sine of y is x. Now, I'm going to take the derivative of this function, same function, using my implicit differentiation, and the derivative of x is 1. The derivative of the sine of y is the cosine of y times, second important step, dy dx. And when I divide both sides by the cosine of y on one side, I will have a dy dx. And on the other side, I will have 1 over cosine of y. Now let's look at that for just a second. So what we started off was is that we had an angle y whose sine was x. Now assuming a unit triangle with a hypotenuse of 1, this triangle would meet that definition. The sine of y of this triangle is in fact x, or x over 1. Now we'd like to know the cosine of that so we can replace it in terms of x. So I don't know what this side is just yet. I'm going to call it a. And of course this is a right triangle, which means I can apply the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus x squared is 1. And a squared equals 1 minus x squared. And a is the square root of 1 minus x squared. I'm only looking at the positive root because it's a length and negative length do not exist in our reality. So I can now do this substitution. And the cosine of y is, in fact, a over 1, or simply a, leaving me one minus x squared. <clears throat> so the derivative of the function y equals the arc sine of x is one over the square root of one minus x squared. Again, I determined this using implicit differentiation.